the police and the military are responsible for protecting and serving the community, but what happens when the two face off against each other? Ah! Sit up! Ah! Sit up! It'll stop when you sit up! It'll stop. Please! I'm so f horny. Watch it. Watch it. are six cases where police officers forcefully arrested military personnel. Meet Officer Maurice Taylor, who on October the 13th of 2021, along with Officer Sierra Brooks, responded to a call about a man using dogs to make people feel sorry for them to give them money. The reported panhandler was later identified as Joshua Rohr, a veteran who had been deployed to Iraq in 2004, the home of Saddam Hussein, where fighting was constant and violent. Upon his return, he was diagnosed with PTSD and given a service dog, whom he named Sunshine Ray. He also fell into drugs and alcohol to cope, which eventually rendered him homeless and brought him to Cox Road, where he was allegedly asking drivers for money. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right, sir. Well, I was just out with him. I told him he couldn't be on the median. Yeah, and that's why and I was packing my stuff up. Walk out to a car to get money. Yeah, I saw him at the Circle K the other day uh, with the car. Yeah. yeah so I now mean, he's refusing to give me his ID because I'm going to write him. She's, she's trying to write me a ticket because I was walking up this, packing no. up. She told me to pack up. I told and you. I was literally I was, walking listen, the listen, road, listen, and somebody stopped listen, and gave me money. You, you saw it yesterday. He saw it too. People you, give me money without me okay. asking. I don't have because, to ask. Because... Because you're, first of all, I mean, it, it, it can be inferred, okay? Because that's the way the law works. Right. Things can be inferred. So if it appears that you're violating the ordinance, but, that's how that works. Right, but if so, you if you're so, 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 let me but, tell you, because because you're not a lawyer, right. you can get one, but I can tell you how the law works. You're in the median, right? You're waving at people in the median and after you, after I've told you. Down like this. Yeah. I sit there and observe you, and that lady is a witness down there. Yeah, and I, I walked up look, there listen, I packed listen, up like you told I, me. I just to. want you to know, you can go to jail for this ordinance. I if you, if you continue, listen, if you continue, if you continue to argue with officers, you're going to go to jail, I'm and, you're, and, and we're going, and we're going, and, and, we are, and, we are, and we are going to call animal control for your dog. You got it? That's that. Okay. But so, so no. If I do, you cannot, you cannot be, you cannot, you cannot be here. That's fine. I told her I was leaving. Okay, and I interpreted you asking for money because you're like this, and you walk out to the car. Dude, you saw it. I was standing. Here talking hey, I'm right now. You don't give me your ID. You're going to get on calling animal control. For what? You're waiting for a Can we get your ID? Can we get your ID? Dude, I didn't commit this crime. But you're also in the median after I've told you not to be here before. Have, have I not said that? And that's why I was vacating because she asked me to leave. And I was literally walking up asked, here. Asked I did not ask anybody money. for money. Okay. That's right. I'm taking this to trial. You can. That's fine. Oh, you can. It's going to go to trial anyway. You don't even have to have Oh, it's going to trial. Oh, I know. You're wasting taxpayer dollars. Okay. Well, I pay my taxes too. There you go. No, we your state ID, not your VA this ID. It's not valid. It's not valid. I, I need your state ID, not your VA ID. I'm gonna ask you one more time. It's your not book. even valid. Give me it's your state ID. Me. The most important thing to note here is that North Carolina does not have a stop and identify statute. This is significant because it means there's no law to say exactly what counts as a valid form of identification if a person is stopped, and thus there's no law that specifies that a person must present state ID. As long as the suspect isn't driving a vehicle, they should be able to present any form of ID that provides an officer with their basic information. Their name, birth date, and a picture if available. Uh, turn around. You're being arrested. Whoa, what turn for, around. dude? Turn around. Are you kidding turn me? Around. Turn around. Do you turn see around. this? Turn around. Somebody help me! Turn around. Hey! What are you doing? Stop! What are you doing? Uh, Mama! Hey! What are you doing? Hey. Call your dog off. Doing Call your doing? dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Sir, call your dog off. Call your dog off. He just bit me. He bit me. Call your dog off. To Charlie. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. Call your dog off. We need, we need. To Charlie Chun City, we need more units. We need more units. Stop. What are you doing, man? Somebody help me, Lord. Turn around. 
around. Record him. Turn around, sir. Help me. Turn, sir, turn around. No. Turn around. Why are you doing this? We Charlie Tim said he takes it to the dog. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you it bit my foot and I knew it was going to bite you, so. Charlie, 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 the dog. 10 it didn't break my boot, but it bit my boot. Help me! What are you doing? Negative. Relax and give me your hand. Why are you doing this? I haven't done anything. Cooperating. Sir. His dog bit him. His dog bit me. His dog bit me. I get you, but one. But when we are out here trying to get something from him and it won't happen, I have to do what I have to do. The dog bit me, okay? No, it didn't, because you shot him with a taser. When it comes to use of force, the Gastonia Police Department adheres to the use of force continuum. If you look at the chart, the appropriate responses for active resistance are pepper spray, empty hand control, an impact weapon, a taser, and then a canine, depending on the degrees of violence the suspect is using. Note that pepper spray is placed above the taser on the scale, and one could argue that an officer's duty to use as little force as reasonably possible obligated the officer to use pepper spray on Sunshine before resorting to a more painful taser, which had caused Sunshine to take off running down the road. Please help me! Why are y'all doing this to me? What did they ask you for? They asked me for my ID, and then he grabbed me and tapped me. Because you wouldn't give it to me. I was in the process of handing it to you. Okay, okay, we're doing what we have they to do. They tased my dog. The worst they tased him. They tased him. Please record this. It's really sad how the dog uh, we got is tased. This guy's here all the time. Dude, I get, get it, but it doesn't change the fact that the dog reason. bit me. Okay? okay. Can y'all just back up, please? Did you see the dog bite his foot? Dude, he tased my dog. Of course. Like, seriously, why are y'all doing this to Okay, me? but we have to do our job. We have to do our job. Y'all okay, didn't see the whole story, so just back up. Dude, you didn't either. Y'all are you harassing me. Don't be nice right now. No, you do be nice. Y'all are well, you did not get us. Do you not? You did not see the whole story. Please help me. Somebody record this. Thank you. I need your information. Somebody, please help me. They're trying to kidnap me. Did he see the dog bite? I don't know what they do with sunshine. Where's my dog? Sunshine Ray! I need my dog. She's my medical device. Where's my dog? Where's my dog? Man? What are y'all doing with my dog? Where's my dog? <laughs> As more bystanders came over to express worry for Joshua, the officer became visibly annoyed and began criticizing them for being concerned. I get, but, but when, we're, when we're trying to detain the owner, of course the dog's going to, and I asked him to call his dog off. The dog got on the dog got on the hood of the car, and the dog began barking. The dog and me, the dog initially barked and bit my boot, but it didn't break my boot. I don't, I didn't want, I did not want this dog to bite my partner. You understand? No, I understand. Okay, we asked for his ID. He refused us to give us his ID. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, I need your help. I'm not sure. She's mad because he's here all the time, and they don't like they don't like the fact that we had to do what we had to do. Please help me. I'll take you. Yeah, yeah, it didn't break. But everybody's out. Everybody's out here. His dog initially bit me. No, you didn't break my boot. It got on the thing and I and the dog and I shot her while she was running away. I didn't shoot her. I tased her. Yes, he did. He tased her for no reason. My camera's still on. I'm also a veteran myself. I I get it. Okay. So um, he 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 starts getting angry and whatnot. He's like. This one is not valid. This one is not valid. Take my VA ID. I was like, no, sir, I need your state ID that you had. And I go and he starts hollering and keeps like shoving in my face saying this is not valid. And I try to get it from him. And he doesn't give it to me. Okay, because North Carolina ID. Because North Carolina ID, because we're trying to identify him. So I go to put him in handcuffs. He starts resisting, saying help, help, screaming help. His dog starts looking worried and whatnot. He runs over, he runs over to my foot and he nips it like he 
Like he nips at my foot, it doesn't nip, but he actually bites my boot, but it doesn't break my boot. At that point, I'm telling him to call off his dog. Okay, he said, yeah, at that point, yeah, that's exactly where it was. I told him to call off his dog, the dog jumps up on the hood, and I'm thinking it's gonna bite Brooks at this point as we're doing this, because the dog is obviously worried. It's trying, it's going to try to protect his owner. It already bit me. Okay. So at this point, once the dog looked like it's about to get close to Brooks, I tased it. Did it bite you? No, it yeah. was coming up behind me. Yeah. yeah. Came up. And it, this can all be seen on camera. Hey again, what's the call? The call was him handling. And so I spoke to him, and then I went off to speak to the witness who flagged you him to, Have you told him today, get off the medium? I told I told him a few days ago. Okay. And it's on camera. I can find it. It was That's on the other shift. I believe. You've, been, you've told him. I've told him before so to get off the medium. So as I was speaking to the witness, I'm looking back at him, and he walks from there down to here with his hands like this and then goes and gets money from okay. a car. So She's she a witness. Be, all right. She, I've seen they didn't see it all. They didn't, they didn't see anything. All they saw was the aftermath of me tasting the because dog I and heard everybody. Say the dog bit me, and then I could feel the dog come in between my yeah, legs. Yeah, okay. I, I did not want the dog to bite my partner yeah. while we're trying to detain a man, and we don't know what he has on him. Of course, that's 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 that. Yeah. Joshua was then transported to jail and booked on charges of soliciting alms, soliciting from a highway, and two counts of resisting arrest. Sunshine was later located by a friend and taken in overnight. However, the next day, Sunshine abruptly ran into traffic and was hit by a car. She passed away soon after. And in June of 2023, Joshua filed a lawsuit alleging that as a result of Sunshine being separated from Mr. Roar and the trauma inflicted by the tasing, Sunshine, who prior to the tasing was trained to cross the street safely on her own, ran into traffic and was struck and killed by a vehicle. The suit also disclosed that Joshua attempted to take his life in a similar fashion following Sunshine's passing. Concerning the arrest, the lawsuit claimed that Sunshine was trained to perform several special duties that catered to Joshua's PTSD, including creating a physical barrier between Mr. Roar and others to prevent PTSD episodes triggered by people approaching him, which is presumably what she was trying to do when the officers approached. The case is still ongoing, but since the incident, Joshua has launched Sunshine Project NC, a campaign that pushes for more transparency from North Carolina law enforcement. He's also no longer homeless, has a new support dog named Justice, and in early 2024 was awarded the Sunshine Award for Citizen Advocacy by the North Carolina Open Government Coalition for using he and Sunshine Ray's story to better the problems that he saw in his community. Every now and then, police stops have a happy ending, but that wouldn't be the case for the next encounter. In fact, it would end in the worst way possible after a suspect lunged for his gun in front of several officers. I'm actually, no, I'm not going to jail tonight. That's why that f***ing rifle's there. I'm not going to f***ing jail tonight. On June the 6th of 2024, police arrived at the Ridge at Blackmore Apartments, where they met with a female victim of a DV call. The woman then led them up to her boyfriend's apartment, where 26-year-old Trey Spurlock was waiting. Trey was a retired Army sergeant, and following his service, he settled in Casper, where he recently acquired this apartment with his girlfriend of less than a year. And as the officers made their way upstairs, he was calmly enjoying a drink on his balcony with a rifle sitting nearby. He did sound intoxicated. Trey! Yeah, that's your go. Casper PD, you in here? <laughs> What is that? It's like blood. I don't know if it's from me or not. It's more than so. It could be from him. He's out here. He's out there? Yep. He's out here. He's got a rifle sitting next to him. What's going on? Yeah, well. She was okay, safe. Also part of the lease of I know. We trespassing. But we have to shoot you. No, yeah, you couldn't. With her. I don't care. Death by cop doesn't sound too bad. But what do you want? Just here. What happened? I told her to get the f out. Okay. And so I pushed her the f out. She wouldn't f leave. Okay. Can you step in here? No. Can you step in here away from the rifle so that we can talk? Um, Go ahead. It's behind me. What do you want? Yeah, like three steps behind me. Yeah. Okay, that's plenty of time for you, George. So, 
just wants to know how she can we get came back in to here. Motel mm -hmm. 6. And she told us that she is going to... Copy. I'm listening. Calm down. That she's going to come in here and get her stuff. Mm -hmm. So we had to come in here mm -hmm. to make sure she was safe because she's alleging that you were pushing her and could be... I pushed her. her out the door. You pushed her out the door? Yeah, 100% did. Okay, why? I'm tired of her shit. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm tired of everything. I told her to get the fuck out. She was leaving anyways. She okay. screamed at me, so I put her out the door. It's not even like she pays for this fucking place. She might be on the fucking lease, but I pay for everything. Okay, well, that doesn't mean anything. I know it doesn't mean really, I, I don't really give a either. Okay, so you pushed her like. Yeah, both pushed hands pushed her? Board, yeah. Did yeah. you knock her over when you pushed her? No, she stumbled. I picked her back up and I put her out the door. She stumbled and fell on the ground? Well, she didn't fall on the ground. I grabbed her before she fell. Okay. She stumbled after you pushed her, though. She stumbled because she had lost her footing, yes. What Trey just described is considered domestic assault in the state of Wyoming. Statute section 62510 states that if having the present ability to do so, the offender unlawfully attempts to cause bodily injury to another household member, then the offender shall be charged with a misdemeanor and punished by imprisonment for not more than six months and or a fine of not more than $750. But Trey didn't seem to care too much about the consequences, and the officers would soon find out why. And I saw you inspecting the door. That was that was long before you guys ever got here. That was when she tried to commit. Okay, so describe to me what happened, what led up to you pushing her out the door. I mean, her got an argument. I told her to get out. She was already leaving anyway. Her birthday bash. We had the same birthday. And screamed at me and I said, I'm tired of this shit, so I pushed her out the fucking door. Okay. How hard did you push her? Not very. Not very. How many times did you push her? Probably like three. Three times? Probably. And just, just all in the back or? Yeah, mostly, yeah. Probably. Okay. How long have you guys been together? On and off for like nine months. How long have you been living here? We got this lease in November. So what made you decide to start? She's already leaving the house. Why would, you start, why would you start pushing her in the back? Because I wanted her to leave. She kept screaming at me. I'm done with this relationship. I, I, I don't think you understand that. No, I understand I, I, that. I, I, I think that's a great her. idea. And then every time I try to leave her too or something, some bullshit happens. Trips me. She does something. I don't need shit. I go to work. I come home. Today, I went to work. 7 a.m. Came home. Perfectly fine. She went to the fucking beach with a good fucking time. Cool. I didn't want to talk. She keeps asking me stupid fucking questions. I, I'm done tired of asking them. I told her I was done with this shit. She fucking was like, cool, I'm leaving, whatever. She screamed at me. I screamed at her. She screamed at me again. I told her to get the out. And I watched you guys pull the fucking up and everything fucking else. Okay. I'm not going to jail tonight. I hope you know that. Like, what does that mean? I'm yeah, just letting you know I'm not going to jail tonight. That's why that rifle's there. I'm not going to jail tonight. Either death by cop or not. I've been in plenty of firefights in my life. I'm not, I'm afraid of another one. Point being is I'm not going to jail tonight. Refuse to. Take that as you will. Can you just step inside here so that we can no. finish our conversation? You're talking perfectly fine. You just said you're going to shoot me. I didn't say I was going to shoot you. I said I wasn't going to jail. You can take implications. You said if you're going to go to jail, that's the video camera shows. So you're going to fucking shoot us. I didn't say you were going to shoot you. If I want to shoot you, I could have picked all three of you up and fucking knock you. I can hit a on iron sights. I can hit a paper target from 300 meters away. If okay. I wanted to kill you guys, it would have already been done before you walked out of your car when you guys all showed up in the convoy. I didn't say I was going to shoot you. I said I'm not going to jail. Okay. Can you step inside? I'm right here. Yeah, but can you step inside? No, I'm stepping away right from here. the gun so that we can finish the conversation. We are finishing the conversation. We are talking right now. That gun's three foot up behind me. He can grab his pistol and she can grab her pistol faster than I can grab that gun. So, you're not in any any danger right now. If I walk backwards and grab that fucker, see? See? Look at that. Look at that. You're fine. You have your hand on your pistol, you'll be fine. Calm down. Okay. If she grabs her 
she goes out the door, you guys go with her, like you just stated, then we're perfectly fine. Even if that's how his girlfriend wanted it to go, the duty to press charges against him wasn't in her hands anymore. Since the officers were there on a DV call, they were going to have to make an arrest per statute section 720-102, which states that any peace officer who has probable cause to believe that a violation of the domestic assault statute has taken place within the preceding 24 hours may arrest the violator without a warrant for that violation. Are you not going to step inside for me? No. I just told you that multiple times. You're going to keep asking me, I'm going to keep telling you the same answer. Okay, because I want to avoid okay. what you're talking about with your rifle. My rifle is just sitting there. Yeah, I know it is. I'm allowed to have it right there. Okay. This is not a fucking gun state. Okay, but you don't Pretty understand why I'm concerned that you just talked you about having a shootout with cops. That. Listen, listen here, I did two fucking deployments overseas. I understand. I understand about the whole the whole bunch. So I don't right? want to shoot anybody. Right now. Okay, cool. You're there. I'm here. We're perfectly fine having a civil conversation. Are we not? Are we not having a civil conversation right sure. now? Sure. Okay. You're the one escalating this right now. I'm not escalating. You're the one that brought up having a shootout with cops. No, I didn't say it was shootout. I said I'm not going to jail. That's all I said. If you yeah, want to intrude, say I'm not going to jail or I will shoot it out with cops. I did not say or shoot it out with cops. Never shooting yeah, cops. Oh, sorry. A gunfight. I never said a gunfight. I said I'm not afraid of getting a gunfight. There have been plenty of them. Did never say I was going to shoot a cop. Those words never came to my mouth. That camera right there and right there and right there. Actually, yours is not on. It but is. yours too. Oh, you. I've got a newer one. It's a new oh, okay. one. Well, all three of your cameras will show that. Those words never came out of my mouth to shoot a cop. Ever. Okay, have a shootout, whatever you want to call it. Pray. The matter here is that there's a right to put behind you. I understand we have our own. Right, 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 right. There, there is a Listen, rifle three foot behind me. That is 100% We are just trying to handle right. this civilly. Right, we, which we are. She's grabbing her stuff. You ask about what happened. I told you what happened. You ask about the rest of the events. I said, I watched you guys pull up. There was right. nothing that wasn't civil about this, was there? Okay, but why won't you step inside for me? Because I'm not going to get close to you guys. Because I can't win a three-on-one scenario. That ain't happening. I'm in the department. Who's talking about winning a three-on-one Well, there's scenario. three of you all right there. If you want to back up, I'll step inside the door. But I'm not, I'm not stepping inside this door with you two foot from me. Okay. You want to step inside? You want to step to the And close case? the screen door for me? There's... The sliding glass door. I'm not sli closing the sliding glass door. If you want to step to the bookshelf, I will step inside, and we are both in agreement. Here. What bookshelf? The the one bookshelf that's in behind me. There's four of them. You okay. want to step back there? I appreciate you. You were shoving her, shoved her to the ground. I pushed her. I didn't push her to the ground. I pushed her outside that door. I gave her her stuff. I made sure she had all of the stuff that she needed. I went downstairs to make sure she had her keys. I gave her her keys, and then I went back upstairs. That, that is what happened. Yes. She screamed at me. I screamed at her. She screamed at me. I put her out the door. That, that is what happened. I, I will refer oh, that yeah. again many times over. I know, but she's saying that you pushed her, pushed her on the ground. You're admitting that you were pushing her. Yeah, did not push her. So that is the issue at hand. Right? Yes, I did push her out the door. 329. I did that. I'm trying to have you come in here and talk with us about. Right. Without and having yeah. a shootout. I'm um, not having a shootout right now. We're, we're talking. And I know, but some what? statements were made. Yes, I said I was not going to go to jail. Okay, otherwise you're going to have a shootout. I never said I was going to have a shootout. Again, we are getting to semantics here. I never said that. And I'm not going to put those words in my mouth this far. Okay. Well, something to that effect. I don't remember the exact words. Okay. But I'd like if you could work with me here. I'm, I'm very much trying to. That's why I came in the door. You and backed up. step in further away from the guy. Right, which you want me to step inside, which I did. Did I not? You have what? You, you yeah, you took one step in, forward. And which I am inside the door. Yeah. Okay. The door's still open. Yes. The door is 100% still open. Okay. Can you work with me one step further and close the door? I will close it halfway. I will I'll give you that. I will give you that much. Given the circumstances, the officers knew that this was probably the most cooperation they were going to get from Trey, so before he could change his mind, they started steadily inching closer to make the arrest. Okay. So, it's not a huge deal. Yes. Like, 
There's not any crazy marks on or anything, but well, you are, it is technically a domestic assault. Okay, so you understand that we have to do our jobs. I understand that. Right? Okay. So, I'm trying to handle this as peacefully as possible. And, and, and I am too. I mean, you have to Why not? I've, I've not done two of the... Mostly two of the requests you ask. You ask me to walk in the door, I said walk in the door. You step backwards, we said cool. You ask me to shut the door, I shut the door halfway. I'm meeting you halfway here. Quite literally halfway. Okay. Am I not? But I'm explaining to you. Yes. That we have to do our jobs. Mm -hmm. And I'm explaining what. And I'm trying to make it not just safe for us, safe for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I think I'm pretty To do our way. jobs. Because mm -hmm. I just told you, you did just admit that I pushed you the door. Yes. Which is a domestic assault. We have to have, we have to deal with that further. Okay. Okay. And I'd like to do it after you close the door. Because you're going to try to put me in handcuffs. Correct. Domestic assault? Because I don't want no, no, no. Am I correct? this to escalate further. Right. So, technically, next steps, domestic assault, if I'm wrong, you put me in handcuffs, you take me to the down jail, and you don't process me. You do my fingerprints, you do everything else. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yeah, you're correct. Steps. Okay, cool. Okay. So turn around for me. No, I'm not. Put your hands behind your back. No. Step this way. No. Okay, you're gonna get, you're gonna get. Three, six, five, shots fired, shots fired. The officers immediately began performing life-saving maneuvers and bandaging Trey's injuries, but he would later pass away from six bullet wounds, including one in the left chest and two in the abdomen. While some may find this to be an open and shut case, it's bound to have some skeptics, as at the time of the shooting, it appeared the taser had already taken Trey to the ground, putting him at a disadvantage. Okay, you're gonna get, you're gonna get... Though the gun was still within his reach when he landed on the ground, one may argue that given the chance, the three officers could have overpowered him by going hands-on while he was prone. But ultimately, whether or not the officers could have done more to protect Trey will be decided by a team of internal investigators. The officers involved have all been placed on administrative leave, while a use-of-force investigation is currently underway. It's unfortunate that the officers didn't have the chance to get Trey the help that he needed, but this next naval officer, on the other hand, got exactly what he deserved after he began touching himself right in front of bar security. Oh my god, I, I am so horny. Please, 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 please. On March the 21st of 2024, police responded to Sloppy Joe's bar for a second time to deal with 28-year-old Trey Delaney. Trey was a U.S. Navy diver from Wichita, Kansas, and was clearly having way too much fun in Florida, so much so that the drunk Navy man thought it would be funny to pull down his pants for everyone to see and actively touch himself after being refused entry to the bar. <laughs> That crime is indecent exposure of reproductive organs, which is committed when a person is witnessed exposing or exhibiting his or her reproductive organs in public or on the private premises of another, or so near thereto as to be seen from such private premises in a vulgar or indecent manner. 
but that's just a misdemeanor. <laughs> it's nothing compared to the felony he was about to earn by being a moron. I, I, I didn't have any. It's too late for that. Are you sure? Do you, want to your car? Do you want to put him on that side or on the other side? Put him, yeah. put him on that side or on the other side? Put him. Trying to hit me? What's wrong with you, huh? Trying to hit me? That was the dumbest thing you could have done. Now you just got a felony. Now you just got a felony. You got any weapons on you? That was stupid. Now you ruin your military career. Give me ample opportunity. Bring your legs to your chest. Bring your legs to your chest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm not gonna lift you up. Bring your legs to your chest. Yes, Alright. You're gonna get another charge for resisting. Yes, sir. So now you're looking at three charges. Yes, sir. Get up. Get up. You gotta help me. I'm sorry, here. Stand up. Stand up. Yes, sir. So Are you stationed down here? Yes, sir. Navy or Coast Guard? Navy. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, you are. I don't want to wait for you to look. Yeah, All right, have a seat in there, Trey. Yes, sir. Sit down. Sit in there. Sit in there. Don't fall. Sorry. Come on. Stop acting like a child. Get, get in there. You're in the military. Act like it. After apologizing profusely to officers, Trey proceeded to regress right back to the same obnoxious behavior that got him into the situation in the first place. Once sealed inside the car, he promptly began screaming like a maniac, claiming that he was being kidnapped. You idiot. I'm so sorry. Such an um, Please, sir. Do me a favor, man. Sit up, bud. Let me help Please, you up. Please, help. I'm gonna, look, you're going to sit up right here on this, okay? I'm going to help you out. No, you guys have been abusing me all night. No, no, no. I just got here, bud. Sit up straight. No, no, no. no. You hey, have been hey, hey, beating hey. me all Trey. night. Trey, please, listen. please, please. Are you injured? Yeah, my Where face. are you injured? My face, dude. You have okay, I need you to sit up so I can get some pictures of that. Please, no. Are you listening? No, 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 no. no. Are you? I've already told you, I'm Sergeant Rodriguez. Oh. So I need you to sit up into the seat. Oh. And then I can look at your cuffs, okay? Oh. It's not that I stick to my word. Oh. You gonna sit up or are we gonna do this the hard way? Yeah, who are you? Up, 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 up. Oh. <laughs> Sit up. Sit up. It'll stop when you sit up. It'll stop when you sit up. It'll stop when you sit up. Sit up into the chair. Into the chair. Sit up, Trey. Up, 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 up. You need to sit up. Sit up. I am. I am. I am. Sit up. Don't put your foot in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look to your left. Look to your left. I told you it'll stop as soon as you do the right thing. I did do the right thing. Do you guys? Me up. No, I I will protest. You can protest all you'd like. You guys me up. I told you I'd look at your cuffs, didn't I? Yeah. Let me look at your you cuffs. Do? No, what'd you do? I had to get you to sit up in the chair first. Yeah, and what'd you do after that? Try to look at your cuffs. You did not. Yeah. You tried to what? 
trying to get you in the chair. No. I just got here. Do you realize that? I, I know you just got here. I'm not, okay, I'm not, so let me look at your cuff. I'm not trying to suspect you. I can fit two fingers in there, and I can fit two fingers in here. That's not what happened. You hurt. I am very hurt. Where are you hurt? My face. Where on your face? Because I don't see anything. You got bangs in the way, dude. Move them out of the way so I can see no, your face. No, no. Well, I don't see where you're hurt. I'll get some pictures anyway, but I don't see... After snapping a few pictures, the officer tried to question Trey about what had led to his arrest, but the conversation was going nowhere, so officers decided to try again down at the station. What the f*** they want to do? Who to whoever the f*** they want uh, to do? What has any of them asked you? Hey, who would you like me to kiss? No, they don't give a f They're just kissing whoever they want. And you're just sitting here like an idiot. Look at them staring at you. Idiots. I wish I gave myself up. I'm trying so f hard. I wish so bad. I don't want to f this chick up so f bad. Oh my god, I, I am so f horny. Please, 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 please. 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 I'm so f horny. I don't care whose f idea it is. Moron. People are your shoves their in your ear, you faggy. Who cares? You shove your in my nuts. I, you think I give a? Shit? I am not worried about this. This is the last thing I'm worried about. You you retard. I cannot wait till you get off the hard. Shove down your throat and just tickling the back of your throat. To where you're just like, oh my god, hours. You retard. You're an idiot. You have to do this, and you couldn't do it. You stupid little. I think of you. I think of you as my little baby aunt sister. You know what I did to my baby ancestor? I fill her up with three gallons of water. Three gallons. Just in case, you know? Three gallons of water. And then I do ups and downs on her face. I'll, I'll take it off every now and then, but she'll be able to breathe on her. I can tell by the way you look at yourself. You're scared. Scared little baby. Oh my God, you're so scared. Who cares about your mom, dude? You're most of Upon arrival at the station, Trey would be charged with indecent exposure of reproductive organs, battery on a police officer, and resisting arrest. The officers followed through with their word and subsequently reported his charges to the commanding officer. At least Trey enjoyed Florida while he could, because his trip is probably going to be short. On the other hand, this next army lieutenant's night was unreasonably cut short after he was assaulted by two police officers over a simple traffic infraction. This is really messed up. Sorry, well, just leave this for This is really this is up. Sorry. This is Oh, on December 5th of 2020, police initiate a traffic stop on a Chevy Tahoe with no license plates and dark tinted windows. The SUV slowed down, but continued to drive for about a mile before pulling into a gas station and coming to a stop. The driver of the vehicle was later identified as Karen Nazario, an Army 2nd Lieutenant, and given the minor nature of the stop, he was naturally caught off guard when officers exit their cruisers with their guns drawn aggressively yelling commands. Driver, roll the window down! Felony 
traffic stop. Put your hands out the window. Put your hands out the window. Turn the vehicle off. Put your hands out. Put your hands out the window and turn the vehicle off. Put your hands out the window. He's not complying, Jeff. Come around your side. Let me see your hands. How many occupants are in the vehicle? What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? Open the door slowly and step out. Open the door. I'm not getting out the vehicle. What's going on? Get out the car. Open the door slowly and get out. What's going on? Get out of the car! Oh. Keep your hands outside the window. Keep your hands outside the window. My hands are right here. What's going on? Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! What's now. going on? Get out of the car now! Get out of the car now! I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated? Yo, look, guess what? I'm a veteran too. I'm going to obey. That's Get out of the car! What's going on? Get out of the car now! What's going on? What's going on? You're fixing the light, the light, you son. I'm sorry, what? Get out of the car now! What's going on? Get out on? of the car now! Get out of the car! Sir, just get out of the car! Work with us and we'll talk to you! Get out of the car! You receive an order! Obey it! I'm... I'm, uh, I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you should be. Get out. An officer telling a suspect that they should fear them is not only morally reprehensible, but directly opposes the Windsor Police Department's core values, which include honor, integrity, courage, and commitment. Not to mention that Karen's arrest comes only seven months after the racially fueled police killing of George Floyd. Given the circumstances, Karen, who is black and Latino himself, has special reason to be intimidated, and the officer's comment was both unnecessary and surely a breach of department policy. Now, I have not committed any crimes. You're being stopped for a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest. For a traffic. Well, you're being detained, okay? You're being detained for, for a traffic justice. traffic violation. I do not have to get out the vehicle. You haven't even told really? me why I'm being stopped. Really? Get your get, hands off. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. The... Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hey. hands off me. Get your problem. hands off me. Back up, Daniel. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir, get out of the car now. Don't do that. Hey, sir, get out of the car now. Don't do that. I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. I'm trying to talk to you. Get out. Just get out of the car. Can you please relax? Can you please relax? Get out of the car right now. Man. This is not how you treat a vet. Uh, I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're going to treat me? I didn't do anything. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Hold on. Watch. Watch it. Air Force is deployed. Get out of the car now! Sir, just get out of the car! I'm trying to breathe. Get out of the car now! That's up. That's really up. Get out of the car and get on the ground now. Get out of the car and get on the ground now. I don't even want to reach my seatbelt. Can you take your seatbelt and get out of the car? Get out of the car now! Get out of the car now! Look, I'm just gonna just see. You're gonna, gonna do what you're told. Get, get out, out of the car. car. My, look. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Look, take your seatbelt off. Look, my hands are out. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. My hands are out. Don't reach each other. Don't reach each other. My hands are out. Please. Please. Look. This is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right now. Get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made this way more difficult than I if you just complied. Get out of the car. I'm reaching for my seatbelt. Fine. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Straight onto the ground. Straight onto the ground. Ma'am. Is your commanding officer Get available? Down. Let's go. Is your commanding Let's officer go. available? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Please talk to get me on the about ground what's going now. On. Get on the ground and you're getting sprayed again. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's get going on? Get on the ground. On. Get on the ground now. Can you please talk to me get about what's going on?
If you look in the upper right hand screen, you can see the primary officer knee Karen twice in the leg before they force him to the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Excessive force is defined in the Code of Virginia Chapter 7.1 as any force that's objectively unreasonable given the totality of the circumstances, including the severity of the crime at issue, whether the suspect poses an immediate threat to the safety of the officers or others, and whether the suspect is actively resisting arrest or attempting to evade. The crime itself was a minor traffic infraction, a victimless and non-violent offense. Karen had his hands in the air and his eyes closed from the pepper spray, clearly posing no immediate threat to the officers. And though technically he was resisting by not getting on the ground, he wasn't resisting violently and his calm refusal didn't warrant a knee to the side. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? If you're not cooperating, get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? This is really messed up. This is really Come messed on, up. <laughs> Sir, well, just what just, this is really, this is up. Sir. <laughs> Just work with us. Lay down flat. Hold on. Lay down flat. Lay down flat. Sir, it's lay down. Really I'm gonna take the. Lay down. You're gonna get paid. Up. Lay down. You're gonna get paid. Up. This All right. Put, up. put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. This is up. This is up. I agree. All you have to do is listen. All right. Hand of three. One in custody. This is f***ed up. Can you open up the window for my dog? I hear him choking. Can you open up the window, please? Yes. Stand yes, up. we will. Stand up, okay? This is f***ed up. Is there any weapons on you, sir? No. Okay. Any weapons in the vehicle? Yes. Okay. What kind? Where in the air? He's mixed. He's a service animal. Why didn't you just do I that? Slime, man. No, you know. weren't. You were not. My partner put his blue lights on. Yes. You didn't and stop. I was pulling over to a well-lit area for my safety and yours. I have respect for law enforcement. No, you don't. So no, you don't. No. Wrong answer, sir. If you did, we would not be in this situation right now. All right? Get some water, please? Absolutely. One of the officers ran into the nearby gas station for a cup of water while an ambulance arrived to treat his eyeballs. I, I, didn't, do, I didn't commit any crimes. I'm leaving tonight. I'm not going to jail. I need something to be done for my eyes. Nothing I can do to help you. Wipe my face. Can you do something? Yeah. Can you please take the cup? No. There's nothing going on. There's nothing wrong. Come well, on. There's there's obviously, there is because you wouldn't comply with us. All we do is ask you to get out of the car. And you refuse. You said, no, I'm not getting out of the car. And we told you it was a traffic stop, and you refused to comply. So hold on. Before we get to that, my medics are still here. Do you still need my medics? Yes, I'm going to stay here. What's up, buddy? Okay. Sir, where are you stationed at, Mr. Nazaria? I'm coming from a medical event. I'm a medical officer. All right, I'll put your wallet back in here, okay? What did y'all do? Exercise today? Do you have... Do you we're, have we're, we're, prepared, we're, we're preparing for you. Right there. I'm sure you're sorry already. Right no. You just got a handgun, you got a yeah, long gun? Yeah, you got a handgun. No long gun? Okay. I got it. Don't want a firearm. X-ray Delta 9968740. If I pop the trunk, yes, sir. Hey, Pop. Hey. You're going to have a seat on your bumper right there, okay? I don't want you to fall down. I don't want you to hold on. You just get relax right there. Tell what happened. Why wouldn't you comply? I looked out the mirror and I saw guns drawn. I put my hands out. And we told you, we identified ourselves, we told you to step out of the vehicle. 
and you wouldn't. All you had to do was comply, and we'd have been done by now, okay? The primary officer then went to call the chief and inform him of the situation before returning to make the man an offer he couldn't refuse. Right, how's your eyes doing, Lieutenant? Better. And I keep calling you Lieutenant, I told you I'm a veteran, I respect rank, okay? I was a, I was a corporal in the Marine Corps. I respect rank. However, I do have a job to do, okay? I just talked about chief of police. You asked for a superior, he's off, obviously, right now. It's Saturday, I called him, he came out, talked. Here's how he... I was thinking, I told him what I wanted to do. He said, that's no problem. Two ways we can handle this. We can either sit here with you until you get your eyes back where you can see, and I mean at a good distance, you're safe to drive, okay? And you're going down the road. Go do your deployment, go continue serving my country, which I respect and I thank you for, okay? Or we can push the issue, write you tickets for no uh, license plate displayed, and for resisting, or not resisting, obstructive justice. I don't think we need to go that route because that route makes the army get involved, and I know how they are. The, uh, you don't know this, the army, he'll, he'll vouch for it because um, he's been in and he's got friends that are legal officers. I know. The our military is the only place. Where, eyes, okay. The military is the only place where double jeopardy exists legally. Because whatever we do, them, we do to him, the army can turn around and jam for the same thing. I don't want to see that happen. You're obviously a second lieutenant. You ain't been in very long. But if you plan on making a, a career or even six years or whatever, it's up to you. I don't care. There's no need getting this on your record. I don't want to record. However, it's how it's you. If you want to fight it and argue, I mean, I, and I, I don't mean that disrespectfully, okay? I mean, you have that right as a citizen. If that's what you want, we'll charge you, have you go to court, notify the command, do all that, or we can take, the, take time out of our night, which is not a problem. We get, we're being paid to take care of people, okay? We'll sit here with you, get your eyes back. You and, uh, what's your dog's name? Smoke. Smoke? It's bad, I can't feel bad, I know. Um, you and Smoke can get on down the road, okay? It doesn't change my life one way or the way. You see what I'm saying? It's not about me. This is about you, what you want to do. If, if, if you want to just chill, let this go, and no charges filed, we'll take the handcuffs off, we'll get you a bottle of water to drink on, and sit here until you feel comfortable driving. All right? Mm -hmm. Or the other option is we write the summons, just charge you, have, and we, by then we have no choice. We have to notify your command. Again, I've got, I don't have to be an ass. I don't have to be threatening. Uh, I say that because that's just the way it is. Okay? No, nobody's going to ask for charges. So, you know, I'm not going to ask for that. I understand that. However, I have to make that option available to you, right? I mean, I, I, mean, I have to. So, here's what I want to do. Especially as, as, as calm as you've been since everything ended, I want to take the handcuffs off, let you sit here with smoke. We'll sit here and wait with you. Let your eyes come back. Okay, it's gonna take, it takes anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on how much actually got in the eyeball itself before you can really see well on the drive, especially at night, okay? We'll sit here with you, and then we'll get you on down the road. And the command won't know nothing about it. All right? I, I do have a good rapport with my command, so I wouldn't feel right not talking to them okay. about it. So well, I, that's the time I, that you put I'll put it this way then for you. They're going to hear from you. They will not hear from us. I can let them know. Despite the suspect's supposed agreement to let the situation go, he went on to file a lawsuit soon after the incident alleging the use of excessive force, unreasonable seizure, false imprisonment, and deprivation of rights, seeking $1 million in damages. But in January of 2023, he would be awarded $3,685, and the majority of his claims were dismissed after a jury found that the officers had probable cause due to eluding obstruction of justice and failure to obey. He immediately appealed the decision, asking for a bigger payout and requesting that the two officers involved be stripped of their qualified immunity, and his appeal was accepted, but the Fourth Circuit Court ruled to mostly uphold the lower court's decision. However, they did decide to strip the primary officer, Officer Gutierrez, of his qualified immunity concerning the claims of unreasonable seizure, stating that Gutierrez's conduct combined with his death threats against Lieutenant Nazario was a clear violation of the Fourth Amendment that lies outside of the protection of qualified immunity. In an unforeseen turn of events, the Attorney General's Office of Civil Rights also filed a complaint against the City of Windsor as a result of the incident, citing a pattern of misconduct by the 
Windsor Police Department. The following year, a judge ruled that the department would be required to raise the bar on its internal investigation process and officer training and allow an independent third party to review their complaint system concerning incidents of force and officer misconduct. And as for the officers involved, Officer Gutierrez was fired as a result of the investigation, while the other officer, who just recently joined the force, was allowed to remain at the department. What do you think? Did the outcome of his case seem fair? Well, if you think those officers handled that poorly, it's a good thing they didn't have this next Marine who showed the police what real fleeing and eluding is. First stop, 26 miles an hour and 70. The vehicle's currently going. In July of 2023, an officer attempted to initiate a stop on a vehicle that was speeding, but the driver only increased his speed when he noticed the officer behind him. As the chase progressed, the driver, later identified as 21-year-old Ira, increased his speed to 134 miles per hour in an attempt to outrun the officers. The officers ahead managed to successfully hit Ira's vehicle with stop sticks, causing his tire to blow and his vehicle to slow to a stop. Driver, turn off your vehicle! This is the Sheriff's Department, you are under arrest! Driver, turn off the vehicle! Walk back slowly to the sound of my voice. Keep those hands up. I got covered. Keep walking backwards. Keep walking. Keep walking backwards. Stop. Go down to your knees. Put your hands behind your head. Do not move. Who else is in the vehicle? Bring him to the back of the first squad. Let's challenge again. I'll put him in mine. This one here. Passenger in the vehicle, step out with your hand. Despite Iris stating that he was alone inside the vehicle, the officers believe there may still be another passenger. They continue to give lawful orders for everyone to exit, but there was no motion in or around the car. There's no one. He said no. Shut the door, man. Passenger! This is the Dunn County Sheriff's Office. They got one detained. They're challenging the vehicle. Go on, Iris. Occupant, step out with your hands up and do it now. Ready, Jake? It's illegal exhaust. <laughs> Let's get the front first, and then we'll pop that side door. All right, front seats are clear. You get cover, I'll open door. Okay. I can't see the trunk area. I am behind clothing and then ski mask right there. Right there in the door. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's get a tow started for it. A couple of ski masks and... Alrighty, sir. Do you have any idea or anything like that? 
Oh uh, yeah, in my uh, the driver's side left, uh, my wallet's there. Your wallet's in there? Yeah, okay. Before we begin, I gotta advise you your rights. Upon speaking to Ira, the officer found out why he chose to run from police, because he was an active duty Marine and didn't want to get in trouble. In reality, he only exacerbated the issue from a simple speeding ticket to a fleeing and looting charge. If he thought his superiors would be pissed about a citation, he doesn't want to know how they'll react to a Class H felony and possible six-year sentence. Understand these rights? Yes. Are you willing to answer questions? Yes. Okay. Where are you coming from? Uh, Bismarck. Bismarck? Why'd you run? Um, I don't know if you guys saw it in my wallet or not, or my... You see my body bag back there in the trunk? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm a Marine, active duty. I was trying to get back to uh, Camp Lejeune. Okay. I'm coming, uh, coming home or coming back off of leave. I was just trying to get there. I have a, an appointment on Monday to get my wisdom teeth taken out, and I was just trying to get back as soon as possible. Any thought, any thought of running from the cops are going to get you back there sooner? No. 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 Okay. So then, man, I get being active duty and all, but that's kind of a and piss poor decision, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, had anything to drink tonight at all? No. Nothing? No, I'm sober. Okay. Smoke any weed or anything like that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. What's up with all, like, the high-end clothing and stuff like that in the back of the car? Oh, the, uh, the suits? Their suits, like shoes. Oh, some Jordans I'm, a, or something. I'm a sneaker collector. Oh, yeah? And then the suits, I just sometimes I'll play dress up. Okay. And then, uh, what's the deal with the ski masks that are back there, too? The ski masks are for pictures. For pictures? Yeah, I have a bunch of, uh, prop money back home. Okay. And uh, me and my boys just take pictures like that. Who's your commanding officer? Um, right now I'm not sure because I'm uh, I'm fapped out, so it's like a temporary uh, like IR job away from my job. Okay. So I'm not really sure who I go through there. Okay. Alrighty. Well, you said, where'd you say your ID was? Uh, in the uh, left. Driver's side. You got it. The driver okay. door. Alrighty. Is there anything in that vehicle that we need to be concerned about at all? Nothing at all. I, mean, I have a knife in the, in the middle compartment, but that's, that's it. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, I'm just hang out here. I'm not going anywhere for a while, so. Just an active duty Marine trying to get back to Camp Lejeune. Did you have his 27 you wagon? Yeah. A pile of cash and watches and jewelry. That's what I said. I like know, for don't get paid that much. Well, he didn't have a name tag on his Marine Corps uniform either. Which... Well, I asked him who his commanding officer was, and he couldn't tell me. And then, and then made up a story of how he's in a process of getting a different job. Joe was in the Army for a long time, well, you were too, I guess. Does the ID look legit? I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure uniforms, they keep a, a name tag on them just like we do. I was in the Army. It looks yeah. pretty legit. It looks like mine. Yeah. Thank you. Looks legit. Yeah. Aside from the luxury clothing and expensive shoes, the officers found a couple thousand dollars worth of hundred dollar bills inside the car. However, they didn't find anything illegal, and after the search was complete, Ira was transported to the police station and charged with three felonies. First degree recklessly endangering safety and two counts of vehicle fleeing and eluding. He was then booked into jail and released on bond two days later. At least Ira knew when to call it quits. Unlike this next delusional soldier who was determined not to give up on love, even if it meant stalking his target from one side of the country to the other. The law of assumption is when you visualize and pinpoint something, focus something on something so hard, mm -hmm. the world gives you information that you need to get to where you On May the 24th of 2024, a woman contacted police after a man stood at her door, ringing the doorbell repeatedly for two minutes. The victim was a TikToker from California with over 1.5 million followers who'd recently moved to Florida. The suspect was later identified as 30-year-old Kivan Kiai, an active army man from North Carolina, and when police arrived, he was stepping off the victim's porch and away from the house. Standing at the front of my car for me. Standing at the front of my car. So what are you over here knocking on this door for? I just wanted to... Huh? I just wanted to greet them, that's all. Why do you need to greet them? How do you know them? Because obviously they called us saying, we got this person knocking on our door. We don't want them here knocking on our door. Okay. okay. So what's, um, do you know them, person? It's, it's a girl that I used to know. Okay. I, I'll leave them alone. Is this girl you dated or? It's someone, it's someone I know. It's someone you know? Yeah. Okay. How do you know her? I, I, 
that's like, that's the first one. That's the first one. That's the first one. You got any ID on you? Yes, I do. Got my car. Do you, have, do you have a driver's license? My wallet is currently at the YMCA. I apologize. At the YMCA. I left my wallet there. If you could drive me over there, I can go grab it. No. Where's the Where's the YMCA that you're talking about? Oh, right, Saint, Saint Augustine. Oh, it's okay. like uh, take a left. What are you staying there? Is no. that where you stay? No, I'm looking around for a house okay. around here. Yeah. All right. So do you? Where are you Where are you from? Uh, Seattle, Washington, but I recently got out of the military mm -hmm. from Bragg, North Carolina. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for your service. So I'll just check your information. You can walk up here. So did you know her from Washington? No. Okay. You've only known her from Florida? Yeah. You're staying at now? Right now? Mm-hmm. This is a look for a car. I'm pretty much staying inside my car for the most part. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm waiting for the VA to, uh, to get my college funding so I can go to college around here. Okay, good plan. Yeah. To them at all tonight? That's okay. I don't, I don't need to talk. Okay. This is the response. It's okay. 1065, one out of the state of Washington for 1027, 1029P, uh, name and date of birth. The officer proceeded to run his information through dispatch, and this is when the officer started to suspect that something just wasn't right about the situation. Whereas the man claimed to be a former military, a look at his record showed that he was actually on active duty, meaning that he was currently AWOL or absent without leave. In most cases, being AWOL for more than 30 days is considered desertion, a criminal offense punishable by dishonorable discharge, five years in prison, a forfeiture of all military pay, and more. To make sure I'm fully understanding, um, do you understand the law of assumption? I'm sorry, let's just. The law of yeah. assumption is when you visualize and pinpoint something, focus something on something so hard, mm -hmm. the world gives you information that you need to get to where you need to go. And, I, I, and I've been homeless for like seven months now, uh -huh. and I've just been following, like, and I just, I'm here. And then, okay. yeah. So were you in Washington when you visualized her? Uh, I was in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. That's the okay. uh, big reason why I, it was one day, I think, uh, a little stress came to me. And I just left post, and I got caught for being AWOL, and I, this is the whole, this is the whole deal. Just follow, trying to, I honestly tried to follow up. Okay. So you came, were you in North Carolina when you came across your TikTok, and then had the visualization? Yes. Oh, you ended up. I just, I traveled. Leaving the military. I, and then, I was in Mexico City at a certain point. I was in Los Angeles. I've been all over the country. I've driven. Both the, the southern line and like the the one through South Dakota. Mm -hmm. So I've been all over the country at this point, and I. Is that because her TikToks led you there? No, no, it was uh, it was really I was just following, and I really didn't know what I was going. There's some points where I was reading I'm reading a book called Awareness, and as long as you like focus on something like hard enough, mm -hmm. you'll come across what you need to find. So basically, when you visual started visualizing her yeah. and locations, yeah. you were drawn to those locations, yeah. and you were able to basically find her yeah. from, I would assume, stuff she posted on TikTok. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know at all. Have you had any conversations with her? In my own head, but now that uh, it's come to this, most likely, I probably should just leave, because I thought she was honestly talking to me at a very... Uh, a very deep spiritual level because you fix a lot of parts of me. I'm not like during this little little journey of mine. Mm -hmm. A lot of the parts of my head that used to not find peace mm -hmm. have found peace, and I'm like, how could that be nothing less but love from someone else? Because no one has been able to done that. No one's not like my dedication to the military. Like nothing mm -hmm. have I, I have done has found peace in my own head. Like the way the image, the vision of a dream of love mm -hmm. did for me. You didn't have any relationships when you were in the military? The relationships in the military aren't. Like, yeah. they're, they aren't. They're not loving and caring and kind. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. the way you need it. Mm -hmm. How long were you in for? Four years. Four years. Okay. So you're going to be able to collect your benefits? Well, once I get my DD-214. Uh, okay. yeah. uh, so you're not in trouble for going AWOL? In trouble for going AWOL? Let me off easy. They understood what things were going on with me, so they didn't give me like a dishonorable or anything. Like mm -hmm. they gave me like a like one right below an honorable discharge. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
After speaking to the man a little more about his mental state, the officer then goes to speak to the victim and get her version of events, and according to her, he had been actively stalking her for the last four months, creating over 20 fake social media accounts just to message her and check on her location. The victim also advised that on several occasions she would post a picture at a popular location just for him to post a picture of himself hours later at that exact same place. It was even found that after she'd blocked one of his accounts, he'd messaged her from another saying, I promise the rejection only makes me stronger. She provided the officer with the internet evidence as well as a previous police report that she'd made after reportedly seeing him creeping around her home three weeks earlier. Have you ever talked to her? about, is, is this the first time this ever happened to you? Uh, dreams? Visions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you on any medication or anything? Okay. They told me that I might, I was like, like, this is a huge reason why I'm not getting disability either. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. For this, for not being on a medication no, or for, for not, this for whole thing? This, having no psychological issues. See what, um... To continue my conversation with my sergeant and see what the end game is, what they want from Me? us oh, and okay. you, okay. whether they want you to officially trespass from here. Okay. Um, so you can have a seat um, be back with me. Alright, just to let you know, you're being placed under arrest. Okay. Okay, for stalking. Alright, go ahead and put your hands back. Open up your hands. was then transported to the Flagler County Jail and booked on one count of aggravated stalking and later released on bond with the condition that he'd have absolutely no contact with the victim or her family. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one and don't forget to subscribe.